Welcome to the Tesla Economist. Please hit the thumbs up and remember to subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter and talk to me on Patreon. Wow, can't believe we just about called it. Tesla are launching a humanoid robot. And yes, some of us thought potentially they would purchase Boston Dynamics, with a few clues lying around. And I know some of you actually said they would just build in-house themselves. So well done, credit to those of you. But when it came to their own battery, they did acquire other companies such as Maxwell Technologies and Highbar Systems. So it was a fair assumption. But I did literally say perhaps there will be a domesticated type of robot. And it seems that's what we're getting. A robot to eliminate dangerous, repetitive and boring tasks. Combine that with everything else Tesla has to offer, with the AI, neural net, vision, sensors, batteries, etc. Like I said before, robots complement Tesla's intellectual property immensely. And Tesla cars are really already robots that can drive us around anyway. It doesn't sound like these robots will necessarily be used as part of the manufacturing process for Tesla. At least that's not its intended purpose. Who knows what they're actually capable of in the future. This will of course just be the first version of the robot, and they will learn a lot from there, and there will be more versions after that. I mean, look at the difference between the original Roadster and the Model Y. It sounds like this will be a domesticated robot, but perhaps there'll be industrial versions too. I mean, I think we're all imagining something similar to the movie iRobot, a live-in servant type of robot to do all our cleaning, tidying, washing, maybe even cooking. Elon even said it could go to the supermarket and shop for us. I mean, that has serious value. First, FSD saves us 5-10 to 10 hours a week of having to drive a car. Now a robot to save us all the other time of these mundane tasks, or boring and repetitive, as Elon says. Or save us the cost of having a cleaner in once a week. If we look back just 100 years, even life was so much harder than today, let alone 200 years. Perhaps in 10 to 20 years we'll look back and wonder how we even manage to cope these days with all these annoying chores we have to do. Trying to cook three meals a day, wash all your clothes continually, Keep the house clean and tidy, wash your car, maintain your garden. These are not the things in life we enjoy, but we don't have a choice. Just like some people used to have to walk miles for clean water, and then carry it back each and every day. Okay, life for us is much easier than that now, but almost all of us would rather be out with friends and spending time with our family rather than cleaning a house. Elon assures us that the robots will not be able to harm us, and we can overpower them easily, and also outrun them as they have a maximum speed of just 5 miles an hour. Although this is kind of funny, I think he's serious. So if there is an industrial version, then I guess it can't be too strong and thus lift heavy items. I'm not sure how that would work. Same with grip strength, you probably wouldn't want it possible to be strong enough to break human bones, because Elon literally said, you never know. Which is why I'm glad Tesla is going to lead the world in the directions of robotics and AI other than CEOs like Mark Zuckerberg, who act very nonchalant over the way it evolves. But even if a robot does try and attack a human, it sounds like its physical capabilities might be minimal. I suppose unless it can use a gun or some form of weapon, and surely there'd be several ways to shut down the robot's power source too. Wow, there's so much to think about here. Elon says universal basic income may come into play, as doing physical work may become optional. But what does everyone do all day if they don't have to work? Just plug into Neuralink? On the other hand, as many economists say, historically, new technologies have opened up more jobs and opportunities so far. The thing is, it just requires more skilled labour and retraining, and less available work for the layman. Take this scenario. Perhaps you have a gardener, but now there is a robot to do the gardening for you. The robot comes to your house to do the work, but there's also a human assistant. You tell the human how you would like your garden to look. The human then instructs or programs the gardening robot to do the work, except that the robot, or perhaps robots, are able to do these tasks at a much faster rate than a human, with a lot more precision, and tasks that are not even humanly possible, will take minutes instead of weeks. For example, perhaps you have a bush that the robot can literally sculpture for you. This would not have really been humanly possible. So these robots take perhaps an hour to do your entire garden, and you're left with a masterpiece. The cost is just one hour's time for the robot programmer along with their cost of the capital equipment. Whereas to get the same results, it may have cost hundreds of hours of a human's time. You end up with the robot gardener programmer earning significantly more than a traditional garden, and as a result, so many more gardens can be maintained to a higher standard at a lower cost. Machines create leverage, but these robots could be on a much higher exponential scale, or order of magnitude, 
as that's Tesla's way. Elon mentioned they'll be able to use power tools. Imagine if they replace a lot of builders' jobs. The human's job on the construction site might be to program these robots. It sounds like within time, a lot of jobs can be replaced. We're told the robots are designed to navigate through a human world. Although it will be able to take instructions through voice rather than having to program it line by line. So perhaps there'll be various skills to learn in ways to talk to the robot to do specific tasks. A builder would need to be able to talk and communicate to the robot in building terms, for example, not having to actually write code. And there may be various optional accessories for these robots too, depending on the application, thus opening up more opportunities for third parties. This isn't just creative destruction, this is the creative destruction, accompanied with AI that will become vastly more intelligent than humans can ever imagine then maybe there just is a minimal point in us working. And perhaps the AI can invent new products for us to vastly improve our lives further. They should hopefully be here entirely to serve us. We all get our own servants that are potentially more capable of a lot of tasks than us. Imagine three-star Michelin quality dinners every night from a robot chef. Again, that does open up opportunities. Perhaps a famous chef or your favorite restaurant offer their recipes downloadable for the robot to replicate and you simply pay for them like some sort of app store. It is possible they open up a lot more jobs than they close down, especially if it results in massive deflation, which sounds inevitable with all this Tesla technology. So how much would you pay for such a robot? Well, for starters, you could compare it to the cost of having a full-time servant, just like FSD is like having a full-time chauffeur. But think how much time it might save you a week. It must be 10 to 20 hours, I guess, depending on the size of your house or how much effort you put into cooking your own meals. Okay, perhaps cooking might be a bit advanced for the first version, but we expect the robot to be capable of some applications and would have thought at least cleaning and tidying. If you make $25 an hour and the robot saves you 10 hours a week, then that can be argued as $250 of value a week or around $13,000 a year. But even if they cost $50,000, then that would still pay for itself off in about three years time, which is a good investment. But I would have thought $20,000 or so would be a fair price point within time but it would also depend on what it could do. If it's capable of helping building a house and could perhaps eliminate one job on the site or even multiple, then you're looking at a value of 50 to $100,000 a year. And perhaps it needs to learn these skills first of actually how to build a house, which might again come into the app store where builders and coders collaborate into making a program for the robots to give it the set of skills it needs. What if eventually they could even replace doctors? Remember, if it's a home robot, well, there's only so much cleaning, tidying, and gardening to do, it would likely be sitting idle for most of the time. So perhaps they may end up costing more like $100,000, and we're back to our scenario when the robot comes to you and cleans your house, and then leaves the next house, and likely goes door to door in a self-driving Tesla, or orders a robo-taxi each time. And possibly Tesla could get into replacing limbs, or robotic prosthetics. There is so much potential. Wow, isn't this an exciting future? and none of this would have been possible without Elon Musk and the talented team at Tesla. I really would love to thank them for bringing so much hope and so much to look forward to in the future. I mean, can you just imagine what life would have been like without Tesla now? What would there be to look forward to? Waymo? We don't even have Steve Jobs' visionary talent anymore. And not only that, this enthusiasm, vision and innovation spreads across the world and gives children the belief that anything is possible. It changes our outlook on the world. And for that, I'm forever thankful. And no, I haven't forgotten about how impressive Dojo sounds and the outstanding progress Tesla are making on FSD. It's just a lot of data to take in at once. So I'll break it down once I've had the time to process it enough. And right now, I really did just want to talk about this robot. Thanks for listening. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and talk to me on Patreon.